Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Philomena, and this is going to be a lower body 30 minute exercise class. It's going to focus on slant lunges as well as shift front lunges, Y, y positions, and a few other things. I hope you enjoy it. You will need a mat to do some pelvic tilting and hip thrusts. You will also need heavy weights for the lower body work. Through the squats, you can certainly use heavy weights. So if you don't have weights, grab your water jugs, anything that's really heavy that you have in and around the house. And uh, while you do that, I'm going to just mention to you that it is advised that you or anyone else in your family joining this class to consult a physician before starting any exercise program, especially if you have any known medical conditions and or if you're pregnant. If you experience any dizziness or feel during this class, please stop immediately. We are not able to assume liability for any accidents or injuries during this class. So please be mindful, work within your limits, your range, any injuries, anything at all. Here we go, we're going to warm up now. So I'm going to ask you to march it out, right and left. Here we go. Abs are really tight. Always good form. Four, three, give me heel dig, right left with a bicep curl. I change your arm to a press. Press height. Breathe it out. Change your arm to an overhead press. Going for four, three, two. Bring those knees up. I'm taking the four, three. Take those feet down to a heel. Four, three. Bring those knees back up. Y press. Four, three. Keep those knees going. Now to tap down to those high knee lifts. Now from here, take the arms out and take the knees out to the side. Opening up the hip joint. From there, bring those knees forward. Out. Four, three. Tap side, right to left. Arm up, reach. Now, you're going to give me a stride back. We're just pressing back. It's important that we do this movement. These are coming up. This motion is coming up in the class. Got to get this warmed up here. For four, three, two, two right, two left. Here we go. Two. Now two and switch the legs. Two on each leg. Single alternate them here. Same with the stride. Four, three, give me a tap side, right to left. Arm up. Four, three, two right, two left. Stay with the twos on each leg. Now give me single on each leg, one on each. Four, three, give me a step touch down. So it's step touch. Now we're going to lift the legs, bringing the heels up to the butt. Hamstring curl. Bring those little arms up. Now take those arms, press them by your body, back. Four, three, step touch down. Here we go. Three to go. Two. And one. All right, we're going to go pick up your heavy weights for slant lunges. And what this means is we've done these on the strong, long, and lean in a flow, very light. However, we're going to do them here with heavy weights. You're going to take one leg back. I have my right leg back. So remember what you're doing. From here, you're going to lift and extend the left, and you're going to come down. The weights are by your side at all times. If you find your balance is an issue, hold on to something. One hand, one way. Here we go. One, two, did I mention 25 reps? Three, four, five, come on, six, seven, come all the way down if you can, eight, you know your limits, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, you could do it, thirteen, fourteen, now don't lift the upper torso, thirteen, what did I? 15, rather, sorry, 16, it's all a bonus, 
17, 18, 19, 20, come on, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, put the weights down, unload the back forward. Now you're gonna do a runner's lunge with that same back leg. So if you need balance, bring something over and you're gonna bring the leg in and out. Okay? Or you could do it with a very light weight. Huh? That is provided your balance is in check and you're okay. Bring it in and out. But you're staying slanted. It's not a lifted lunge. Already? Three, two, one, let's go. One, it's straightening the last front leg. Two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do it without six, seven, eight, nine, come on, ten, eleven, lift, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Give me five, four, three, two, one. All right, shake it out a little bit. Now you gotta do the off leg with the heavy loads. All right, so I'm going to bring the right back. And I'm going to extend, I mean, my left back, rather, and I'm going to extend my right. So I'm working my opposite. Hands by the side. Ready? Control. Smooth. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, come on, come on, give me the 10 here, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Woo. All right. I did not load properly. You always do it properly. That was my error there. Okay. Now we're gonna do that runner sprint action. So you're gonna bring in the back leg in, and you're gonna straighten that opposite leg up and down. So you're work now. Ready? You, again, you can do it without the, with, without the chair. If you're good with your balance, use light weights. I did it. I just finished the class. I did it there. I saw. This will be recorded. And don't want to test out my injury. So being safe, right? Anyway, look. One, two, three, four. Come on. Five. Straighten that front leg. Six. Really focus. Seven. Eight. Work on the four. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, come on, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Give me five more. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Now, you're going to grab your mat because we're going to do your pelvic tilt. Now, if you have a platform, you can put the upper back shoulders on the platform and do more of a hip thrust. We've done it in classes when we were on site at the center. However, we don't have those here. And because I know most people don't, I'm going to stay with the pelvic tilt version. All right. So even though I have platforms and benches, you need one weight, one weight. So you're going to put it on your, your hip to add extra weight. Bring your knees and feet together. Your feet are close to your butt. All depending on limitations. Your hand is going to hold the weight, all right? It's not going to lift it. So just make sure it doesn't move. And you're going to lift your hips up and down. Ready, set, here we go. Breathe out, one, two. Breathe out, lift, three. As you breathe out, you're pulling your tummy, four, 
five, six, come on, seven, eight, nine, come on, really squeeze at the top, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, squeeze those butt cheeks, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Remove the weight. Take your right leg straight on up. And if you can't do a straight, do a slightly bend. That's fine. And we're going to lift in the tilt. And all you're going to do, stay up there and only lift an inch higher and higher. Heel up to the ceiling. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Come on. Six, seven, eight. Come on. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Give me ten, nine, eight, seven. Come on, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Bring that leg down. We're now going to do another 25 of the pelvic tilt. So grab that weight again. Bring those knees and feet together. If you find it's too hard together, you're going to do a hip, just hip distance apart. Here we go. Let's lift it. One, two, come on, little squeeze. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, come on, 17, 18, 19, 20, you have five more, keep going, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, all right, put that weight down, now you're going to do 25 on your other leg. Lifted, positions, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Abs are tight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, come on, 17, 18, 19, 20, give me five, four, three, two, and one. All right, on your feet. Okay, from there, move that mat out of the way. All right, clear off your space. You need heavy weights from here. We're going to do a wide squat. I'm going to do first with no ways to show you. You're going to come down. You're going to shift over to one side. And when you shift your knees to your second toe, then you come to the center and you lift straight up. You come down, you go to the other side. All right? You're going to be doing 25 of those. That is one. Choose your weights. All right? Be mindful of your limits. Okay? Now, the weights, put them on your shoulders if you can. Otherwise, here on your hips, I'm not a fan of bringing them in front because most people really lean forward, all right? So we want to avoid that. But you know your, your limits. You know your potential. Feet are forward. Let's go. Down, side, and up. Down. Okay, that's one. Keep going. You have a lot of these. Give me two. Right here. Three down. Come on, keep it going. Four. Breathe, everyone, okay? Inhale, exhale. You do five. Don't give up. Six, you did. 
on up, down, out. You did seven, down, side, and up. You did eight, down, side, and up, down, side. You did nine, down, side, and up, down, side. 10. Breathe. You did 11. 12 down. Come on, hang in there. You can pick up lighter weights if you need. 13. 14 down. 15. Come on, you got 10 more. 9 more. 8 more. 7. Come on. 6 to go. Only five. Four. Three. Two. One more. Here we go. Excellent. Put those weights down. Come on back. All right. You're going to take that wide position. Same thing. You're going to choose one side. Hands are on the hips. Now, if you want to go for a very light weight, you can. You can hold them here and you do a touchdown. So I'll do that version with you guys. So you have an idea. So if you do the first time like this, so like this, then you could do second time. I mean, without you could do second time with it. You're gonna go one side only, and you come straight up. Notice this one leg stays straight. It's only the one knee that bends. Okay, it's a wide front lunge. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So I'm doing a bicep curl action with my five. But because I really want the work to be in the legs, six, seven, I just want to keep certain tempo going, eight. I could probably go with five pounds as well, nine, ten, eleven. My point is you don't want to conk out because you have to stop for your arms, twelve, come on, thirteen. This is lower body, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, come on, 24, 25. All right, shake it up. Got to do the other side. All right. Spread it out. Same distance, okay? Abs are tight. Ready? down lift one two three four five come on six don't give up seven eight nine breathe out as you lift ten eleven twelve Butt low, lower than the head. This is 14, 15. Come on, give me 10, 9, 8, 7. Come on, come on. 6, 4, 3, Two, one. All right, bring in your feet. 
Now we're going to have one more set left. All right. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take your right foot and you're going to step so that it is half a foot length forward in front of your left. So if you were to look at the side right here, that's the position. You lean slightly forward after tight. Your heels are on the ground. You're not doing this and then lifting the heels up. That's incorrect. All right. So get your position. I'll do it slightly on the side so you can see. Okay. And you're going to come down in a squat like so. And then you're going to shoot up a little bit on a vertical forward. Ready? Here we go. One. Heel stay down. Two. Exhale on the way up. Inhale down. Three. As low as you can. Four. Five. Six. This is your last set all the way around. Seven. Don't give up. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Feet are hip distance apart. Sixteen in terms of width. Seventeen. 18, full extension, lift, abs tight. 19, inhale, exhale. 20, exhale, contract your abs. 21, 22, 3, 24, and on this one, stay down. Re-engage your abs, shoulders are back. One inch lift, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Come on, nineteen, twenty. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Take it up. Shake out your legs. I had my right foot forward. All right, my right leg was forward. Now we're going to do the other side. Okay, so I'm take my left foot forward. Abs are really tight. All righty. Lean forward. Abs are tight. And here we go down and up. One, lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, slightly forward, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, exhale, lift, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, hold, bring your shoulders, one inch lift, one, two, three, four, come on, five, nice and low, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, and lift. All right, put those weights down. Okay, now grab that mat. You have 25 abs to do. It's not a full curl, nor, but nor is it a crunch curl. Okay, it's half up. So your feet are hip distance apart for an easier positioning. Hands behind the, the leg if you need a little help there or in front. Cross the chest a little harder. Fingertips by the temple even harder yet. Pulling at the head is not an option. All right, so we're going to take it down. Abs are tight. Knees and feet together is even harder. All right, so choose. You're going to curl up. Hold here. Squeeze the belly. Inhale down. Here we go. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. This is your home stretch. Breathe out. Eight. Squeeze tight now. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Keep going. Thirteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Really feeling in the abs. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Squeeze it up and down. Nice and slow. Feel it. Twenty-five. All right. From there, bring your knees in. Get a little bit of rock and roll side to side control. Relax your back. And then lower one foot down and get the other leg up. So that was your lower body class. We're going to stretch you out now, so please don't go anywhere. Toes are down, heel up. Now, toes up, stretch out your shin. But I need that for those ski squats we did towards the end. You're really contracting to the shin. You might be a little tight there. All right, bend that leg, cross it, lift. Again, if you can't reach, you find that you're bringing your shoulders up and doing all funny sorts of little things as opposed to keeping them down where they should be. Wrap a towel, a tie, anything you have, and hook it around your leg and hold on to it. I want you to release that leg down, take the top leg over, but don't roll over. Extend that arm across from the chest right here like so. All right, and keep that shoulder down. All right, let's repeat the other leg. Bring it into the chest, dorsi flex the foot, toes are down, heel up, hold here, shoulders down. Notice I have the other leg slight bent, right? It releases a little pressure off the lower back, especially so you have bad back issues, always do this, bend the leg, right? Toes up, stretch out the shin here. Bend that leg, lift, hold on to it. Breathe deep, bring down that heart rate a bit. Okay, lower down, take the top leg across. Let's hold here. All right, from there, now we're gonna come onto our sides. So, whether or not you decide to actually do the hip flexor stretch on your, or actually standing, it's okay, make sure it's done correctly, either position. So if you can't reach and you're squirming down here or you're standing and you're bending over to reach to grab the, uh, the lower limb area here above the ankle and you can't because you can't bend the knee or you just don't have the flexibility, no problem. Wrap a towel around and pull up for either the position. Make sure your abs are tight and you're in the right body alignment. So if you're standing, you have to be straight shoulders and hips parallel. If you're lying down, you have a nice space between the shoulder and the ear, and you lifted the ribcage. If you can't do this, you could try it lying all the way down, but none of this. All right, let's switch. Other side. Choose your position. Contract your abs. Good form. Very important. All right, coming onto your feet. Choose a method that works slowly, unraveling through the spine. Make sure it's safe, and then roll the shoulders back. Spread those feet out. You can take one arm up over. Side bend. Now from there, you're gonna take that lunge position, but you're only gonna use it to stretch. I want your head above the heart. So I'm holding onto my thigh. If you need to hold onto something nearby, do so. Okay, come on up. All right, take the other arm, side bend. Just about done, so hang in there. Make sure we stretch the muscles that we worked. Okay, now, do that lunge, but using this as a stretch. All right, take it into the center. From here, I'm gonna ask you to just lift the hips up. 
Now from here, take it to the side lunge again. Stay in the forward bend if you don't, if you feel this is a bit too much for you. So what I did is I shifted over, lower my hips. I'm holding onto my hands and I'm flexing the opposite leg. It's a bit deep. If you don't want to do it, just stay like so. Everybody up. Now other side. If you want to join me here. Take it back up. Shimmy in the feet. Roll it up. Roll the shoulder. I'm doing head tilt over. Other side. Release. From there, round your spine. Relax the shoulders down. Release. Deep breath in. Lift the arms up and down. That is your lower body class. I hope you enjoyed that. Feel free to do any of the pre-recorded classes, even from the previous week. So enjoy them. Wonderful work. Hope to see you again soon. Take care, everybody.